Hi, my name is Mike Taylor and I will be demonstrating the Uniface Uport Mail SMTP integration. This screencast will initially send an unauthenticated email before we extend the code to add in the authentication. For this demonstration I have defined within my assignment file logicals for my environment specific information, such as the name of my server, login information and the email addresses I use. My SMTP server is configured to use its own authentication, but security drivers are supplied to enable NTLM and SSPI types of authentication. More information can be found about these drivers within the Uniface documentation. Let's start by opening up the Uniface environment. For this demonstration, all we need is a simple component in order to be able to demonstrate it. I will call mine SendMail. This component will have just an entity and a push button. And for this simple demonstration, I'll just call them dummy. The next step is to add in the code behind the button. For this demonstration, we're going to need two variables. The first being a handle. This will hold the reference to the upotmail component. And the second being a string to hold the header information. So let's create our handle. and we'll make sure we delete the instance as well. Our next step is to create the header information. The header is an associative list that contains all the information required by the UPOT mail component to send the mail. Our first header is the person you're being sent to. We also need to set who the mail is coming from. We can add in a carbon copy, which I'm not going to use, and a blind copy, which again I'm not going to use. reply address the subject which can be any string or of course can be referenced from a field or a logical and lastly the priority this can be a value between 1 and 5 the default being 3 Now we've created our header information, we can go ahead and just send the mail. For this we use a send mail operation, passing in a server name, the header, the body of the message, again can come from a field, or from a logical, or any other string source, a list of attachments, and the maximum size of the mail. Here I said zero to say that the mail can be at unlimited length. The send mail operation will return zero if the, the sending of the email has been successful. So we'll just output that to make sure that we have successfully sent the mail. Okay, so let's go ahead and just run our component. And dollar status indeed is zero. So now let's go and extend this demonstration in order to put in the authentication. For this, I'm going to need another two variables, one to contain the driver information and one to contain the properties for that driver.
The driver information is also an associated list. This will contain the entry point to get to the security driver. Here we're just using the standard SMTP login information. This will be referenced later within the assignment file. Also the driver can be defined as being optional or mandatory. We're going to define this one as mandatory to guarantee logging onto the server. Each of the different authentication methods has its own driver properties. They are listed within the Uniface documentation. For the SMTP, all we require though is the username and the password. OK, so we've now created our lists. Now we can add this security context into the PopMail. Multiple contexts can be added into the application. And Uniface, while you do the logon, will cycle through the available contexts to find the first one which successfully manages to log on. That's the one it will use. The logon operation accepts the server name, a username and password. The username and password are within the security context, so we're not required within this command. And as we've specified server name here, we no longer need it on the send mail. We have the ability also to interrogate the current pop mail in order to find out whether the driver is currently within use. To do this, we'll use the get security command. This takes three parameters the security context number, the driver, and a field to return the properties into. We'll output the information returned from the get security operation and display it on the screen. All we're required to do now is to make sure the assignment file contains our DLL and entry point information. So we'll close down the environment, we'll open up our assignment file and we shall add this into the user 3GL section. The supplied DLLs for the Uniface authentication are within the users bin directory which we shall access through the shortcut. The DLL is uauth login and the entry point which we use within our code is uauth login SMTP. With the driver information added into the assignment file, we can just go ahead and run our component. So we'll select our component, the send mail one, which we created in this demonstration, and we shall run it. First message we should see shows us that we have indeed locked on successfully to the SMTP driver, and we can see in use is equal to true. Our dollar status is indeed zero, so we've successfully managed to send our mail. This concludes our presentation. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed your screencast.